I just want to briefly go through the upcoming services as we begin uh, these beautiful first two weeks in August when we pray to the Mother of God for her intercessions. Uh, we will be doing the small paraclesi services on this coming Monday and Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. If you've never heard this service, it is a service that you must learn and to take part in. You can pray this service uh, at, at your homes. It's a beautiful service uh, that, where the hymns are just glorious, but it's something that we don't often do, and we really should. So you can incorporate it. You don't need a priest for this service, but of course I will be here for the services, but uh, you can a actually pray these at home. And uh, if you don't know the melodies or don't know how to sing the hymns, it's okay. You can read them. Uh, it's the, the words that have the beautiful meaning. So um, just want to make note of that. That's something that you should incorporate into your, your daily schedules or at some point into your schedules throughout the year. Uh, we, if you cannot make it, uh, we will also be broadcasting these uh, via live stream. So... Um, if you're working and can't get here or it's too difficult, uh, just know that you can watch it also on live stream. So Monday and Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. Friday is a holy and high feast day of the church. It's one of the 12 major feast days of the church when we remember the holy transfigura transfiguration of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ as he was transfigured on Mount Tabor. So we will have this beautiful service, the Orthros beginning at nine and the Divine Liturgy at 10 on Friday. And because it is a feast day, we will not do the Paraclesis in the evening because this is a day of celebration. On, uh, of course, next Sunday we'll be here. And then uh, the following Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings. The small paraclesis will be prayed at 6 p.m. On Saturday, August the 14th, which is uh, in 13 days, if you are so moved, please go to Long Beach uh, as we will have the great vespers of the Dormition of the Theotokos, the falling asleep of the Virgin Mary. And the great vespers will be at 7 p.m. on Saturday, August 14th. And then we'll be back here. I will go there. But I will be back here Sunday, August the 15th. Beautiful, and we're very fortunate in that it falls on Sunday this year. So uh, no excuses. Everybody needs to come uh, for the Dormition of the Theotokos, Orthros at 845 and Divine Liturgy at 10. Now this is also a period, it's one of the four major fast periods of the church. Uh, so you should be praying and fasting, doing the very best that you can. Uh, it is a time when, you know, we kind of get away from the church during the summer. And we go on our vacations and we forget about our church. But our church is always here for us. And uh, this is a time to come back if you have not been coming and attending. I, I, many of you come every week. But uh, for those that are watching on the live stream, it is a beautiful time to come back to church or at least watch us on live stream so that you can pray. So I uh, just wanted to make note of all of those um, uh, things there so that you can incorporate them into your schedule. Monday and Wednesday this week, 6 p.m., uh, Divine Liturgy Friday morning, Orthros and Divine Liturgy for a major high feast day of the Transfiguration. And then the following week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings at 6 p.m. And uh, me, please make sure you have a bulletin. I'm not going to go through all the announcements, uh, but make sure that you have the bulletin so you will know what is going on within the life of our church. Amen.